Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you guys about what they don't want you to know about your YouTube channel when you first start. Yes, I'm not a big YouTuber. I'm very, very small on the YouTube community. Extremely small. I'm like a little snail. Yeah, I know. But I have been doing YouTube for almost two years now. Actually, it has been two years. It's been a little bit over two years. And I am just reaching the 200 subscriber mark. Woohoo to me. I have grown throughout my YouTube career. I have um, experienced a lot of ups and downs. And I just want to talk to you guys and tell you guys what they don't want you guys to know about YouTube. Yes, they tell you the normal, stay consistent, um, make sure you have this equipment. If you don't have this, then you can't do this. That is a lie. Let me just tell you right now, that is a lie. So, we're going to start off with... Um, first off, when you first start your YouTube account, you're going to go into Google, and most um, subscribers will tell you do not start your AdSense, um, Google AdSense, when you first start, wait till you get over a thousand subscribers. I personally have already started AdSense, and I have been, um, gaining AdSense, um, so I have ads in my videos. And I don't have that much money, but I do have some money in my AdSense accounts. So I would suggest go ahead and, you know, definitely start your Google AdSense account. Okay? Okay. You definitely want to start making money, even if you don't have that many views. The number of views that you get does not equal the amount of money that you're going to get through your AdSense account. Just so you guys know that, that's a totally separate video. Um, that I can definitely explain to you guys if you guys want to know about Google AdSense. Let, definitely let me know and I will let you guys know. Yeah, comment down below let me know if you guys want to know that. Okay, so as far as AdSense, definitely go ahead and start your Google AdSense account as soon as you start your or set up your YouTube channel. After you start your YouTube channel and set up all of your information, you want to link that to your Google account so that every time that you get contacts or uh, contacts, every time that you get a uh, message or a comment, you want to make sure that that links to your email so that you'll get those comments sent straight to your phone so you won't have to miss out on um, commenting back. It's very important when you have a YouTube channel, even if you have a little bit of subscribers, it's very, very important that you comment back and let them know that you're reading their comments and that you're interacting with your subscribers. That definitely, that definitely helps you gain more subscribers. Just through experience, I do like to comment um, back to my subscribers. I think it's very fun and interactive. And it's pretty cool. It's like you meet people that you never would have met before if you never had a YouTube channel. So next, um, as far as AdSense goes, AdSense, you really won't get a Google check until you reach over the maximum, I think it's the threshold, the minimum threshold of $100. So you won't get a check from Google until you get to $100. Other than that, your, your um, AdSense will just be in your account and it never expires, just so you guys know that. So they don't want you to know that either. Yeah, keep working on your videos and the more that you'll, you know, you'll receive more AdSense, the more ads that people click on. And, you know, yeah, just so you guys know. Next is choosing your YouTube name. YouTube name is very, very important. Um, as far as my name, I'm actually going to do a separate video on that. I, I am thinking of changing my YouTube name to my Instagram and my Snapchat name just because I feel like it's more easier for people to reach. So my name right now is makeup underscore fashionista star star. I love the name, but it's very hard for people to find my YouTube account. Um, or YouTube channel when they type it in the search bar because you have to use the asterisks at the end and it's just very hard to find <laughs> so um, I am actually thinking about changing my name so yeah when you first start your YouTube channel go ahead and think about what kind of name that you want in the future what kind of name is easier for people to remember and also what kind of name would help people if they type it in the search bar can they find your channel very easily so make sure that you guys 
go ahead and you know choose your YouTube name that you want to choose um, definitely that will help you out a ton okay next is when you start your channel you want to make sure that um, you like start your brand and what people mean by starting your brand that's a very big thing for subscribers when they get bigger on YouTube or subscribers that's a very good <laughs> big thing for YouTubers when they get big in the YouTube community they um, start their brand and you want to start your brand off when you first start your channel just speaking from experience again disclaimer I know that I am a small very small channel but through experience and through research and watching other YouTubers that are larger than I am and also way larger than I am just seeing them and seeing their like channel name as far as their banner when you start your channel you want to start um, to make a YouTube banner also your thumbnails are very very big so banner your YouTube channel uh, banner and your YouTube thumbnails that will start the brand for you if you're a crafty person make your banner really lively and make it want somebody to click on your video or make it um, if they see your YouTube channel banner oh I really want to see that person's channel you know what I mean make it so someone else will want to click on your video or watch your channel just like to make an attention grabber if you're not a crafty person um, you can still make it very pretty just add a little bit of pops of color here and there or throw in some overlays of flowers and make your name of not just a regular font but change the font a little bit and then that will basically grab people's attention you know what I mean so that's a really big one too on YouTube next for your YouTube channel of course they want to tell you if you know where you're gonna go on YouTube if you want to be a gamer um, if you want to do just fashion and beauty if you want to do makeup um, if you want to do a food cooking channel know your niche before you start your channel um, if you want to do be a mixed channel, that's great, and it's very good for versati versatility um, as far as gaining subscribers from different areas. Um, so you can definitely do that. But um, when you make your channel banner, you want to make sure that your banner states your niche. And what I mean by that is you'll have your name, and then you'll have maybe your picture on the side, but under your name. You always want to state, so if you look at my channel banner, you'll see um, beauty, lifestyle, um, vlogger, you know what I mean, like that, like fashion, um, hauls, type of things like that. So it gives people an idea of what your channel would be like. Okay, so now let's talk about um, the beginning stages of creating a YouTube channel. Once you do all of the basics and you figure out how to make your channel banner and everything like that and create your videos now we're going to go ahead and talk about what it takes to make a video as a youtuber it is not easy to do a youtube channel you definitely have to dedicate time to it um so it, it takes time it's not like we just film a video and just upload it some people do that um but sometimes it's not that easy you still have to edit it you still have to figure out what you need to create the content so you still have to buy the content that you want so to say that I am doing using this um, pot bottle right here and I am reviewing this bottle I still would have to go out to the store and buy this product and then come back home and then set up my area make sure my background and my like my surroundings are pretty make sure my lighting is correct I'm sitting right now in front of a window so you still have to make sure that you know you're actually you know what I mean <laughs> you still have to make sure that everything is set up correctly and that there's nothing moving in the background or something that would throw off your viewer your viewer wants to be specifically on me or on your subject you don't want anything else distracting it so you know what I mean so you want to set that up it takes time to make videos okay so also with the time aspect um, as far as editing ed editing can take up to an hour to what four to five hours just depend on what you're doing and what type of video that you're doing um, so editing 
takes time. Now with editing, there are different softwares that you can do or that you can have that will um, create your videos for you and that you can edit on. So for instance, if you're a Windows, Mac or HP computer, regular computer person, then you would use, if you want to use the um, free computer software for editing, I would go with Windows Movie Maker. It's a very, very good, um, that is what I'm using right now. I also love Cyberlink Director. That one's a really good, um, a really good editing software. Um, there's tons of them out there. The other one for iMovie, um, actually, yeah, iMovie will be for a Mac computer, um, or iPhone user, so I, Mac, <laughs> and I users. Um, so I definitely would use that for that system. There's also Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro X. Um, I think that's what it's called, Final Cut Pro X. But yeah, you would use all of those um, as far as if you want to pay for editing. Now, when you pay for editing, um, like an editing software, that gives you more benefits. So you can use more um, technicalities when you're editing your software um, or editing your like videos or whatever. Um, it's pretty cool, but if you need to use the free one when you first start out, they work great just like the other ones. You can visualize, I'll probably do a separate video of how to edit an actual YouTube video. Um, I'm actually going to do a separate video on that just so you guys can see how to do that. I'm also going to do a video on um, how to make a YouTube channel banner. PicMonkey is a very, very good um, software that I use. Um, you can use the free version or you can pay for the Royal Membership, which is I think $3.95. A month maybe I think that's what the membership is it just gives you a little bit more perks you can use a little bit more um, like fonts and just different tools throughout PicMonkey but that is how I make my thumbnails just to like grab people's attention um, and also I like to use that just to be consistent and it really helps me out as far as that goes now um, yeah, so editing takes a while. It's not easy. And then you also have to learn the software that you're using as far as editing. So editing, um, you can also learn how to do videos on it first, like search through YouTube, um, how to edit a video or how to use this certain program. So like how to use Windows Movie Maker, you can do that, um, as far as editing. Okay, so next we're going to talk about filming. So filming, you're going to have to figure out your subject. Subject would be, what are you filming or who are you filming? Subject right now, this current moment, would be me. And I am in focus right now. Um, also, you'll want to know your background. What do you want your background to be like? So right now, I'm just in my room. I'm on my bed. I'm just filming myself. <laughs> just filming me. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing a talk video, but if I was doing like a beauty video or type of thing, I would say, do I want this in my background? I will have my um, little backdrop that I created. Um, you can create a backdrop, you can buy um, a sheet, or actually just use a sheet, or you can just buy like um, some fabric and hang it up, and then that will definitely like make your background really pretty. You can do that if you want to. And there's tons of ways that you can use your backdrop, you know what I mean? Um, but filming, you'll have to know, like, what do you need to film? Um, let me see. Filming takes a while, too, depending on what you're doing. Um, if you're doing a planner, plan with me video, you'll have to have the certain materials, and you'll have to have the right angle. So you want people to be able to see what you're doing on YouTube. You don't want to make stuff spaced out um so yeah i have been doing that um so just learning the little tips and tricks through youtube as i move along my journey of youtube um okay so views once you do videos and you upload your video um you want to get views obviously but um i mean views may be very 
they might they might really motivate you when you're doing your videos um, views help your subscriber count if you ask for subscribers um, definitely and of course views do help a little bit with AdSense the more views that you get on your video, the more people are likely to click on your ads or, um, you know what I mean, like interact with your actual video. The, yeah, views will actually help with your subscriber base. So views are, um, to me at least, when I get views, I'm very excited. I love um, seeing how many people I don't know actually watch my video. Sometimes I just upload videos, I don't think people will really watch them. And they watch them, and I'm like, whoa, I didn't think that many people will, people will actually watch my videos. And I love that about it, um, which I just love views. So views help tremendously. Also, subscribers, um, when um, you watch YouTube channels and we say, please hit the subscribe button. Also, click that bell that's at the top of the video. Or actually, click the bell that's right by our name. And that will just ensure that you get all of my videos as soon as I upload. That really, really helps that YouTube creator. So that YouTube creator um, is asking for your help, basically. Um, the more subscribers that we get, we are gaining confidence. We just want to put out more content for you guys. It really helps us um, with our, you know, like our... Um, what is it called? Our self-esteem. It helps us with our self-esteem. And we really, really enjoy you guys as our subscribers. Um, I don't know. It's just like, it's pretty cool. So it's like if you like a certain magazine, do you subscribe to that magazine? Or do you want to read more? It's like a TV show that you watch. Do you want to watch that TV show again? Or um, why do you like that person? Why do you like that that's why that you would subscribe to someone. So when you go to a YouTube channel, um, look at that person, look at the channel, um, watch their body language, their movement, are they drama free? Um, basically, what do you like about that person? And if you really, really like them, and if you want to see more of their channel, then go ahead and click the subscribe button because it's always helping them. And it's also helping you because you also are receiving the benefits of being able to watch more of the person you know what I mean so that is more of the subscriber tip and lastly is equipment alright so the equipment situation um, once you start a YouTube channel of course everyone wants the big ring light and they want the um, the soft boxes for lighting um, the best lighting is natural light just as you guys can see right now the natural light is coming from my window and it's great use what you have period like when you first start off YouTube you don't have to spend millions of dollars um, because you never know if this is something that you really really want to do always find out if this is something that you want to do with your YouTube channel first and then you'll never lose anything if you spend tons of money then go ahead and do it of course if you want to but you don't really have to and that's what I mean um, so as far as equipment equipment wise I use um, I used to use my webcam on my computer <laughs> I really did when I first started you can you guys can check out my videos and I used to use the webcam on my computer to, to um, film my videos and then I moved on to my cell phone and then I moved on to Canon EOS Rebel T5i and this is the one with a flip out screen this is what I'm recording on right now did my research on it I wanted to make sure I had a camera to where I can see myself through the viewfinder and if I look this way this is what I'm looking at the viewfinder um, I also wanted to make sure I can zoom in and out and just have a really nice camera to use um, because I wanted the quality of my videos to rise I also um, wanted to use a Canon um, because of the tripod that comes with it. So I bought myself a kit. The kit was about $7.50 and it had everything in it. So most kits that you get, you just get the, the camera and the kit lens that comes with it. 
Um, yeah. I actually bought my kit from... I don't even know if I can find it. But if I can, I'll link it down below. The kit that I actually bought. And then mine came with uh, two S SD cards, which you'll definitely need that as a YouTuber. You need two of them because once you film one video and you're editing it, if you want to film another one, you can't use that until you're done with that editing software. And then after you input it, you also want to get an extra charger. Mine came with a camera charger and it came with a camera battery. Also get two batteries if you can, two or three batteries. Just to make sure if you run out of... If I'm filming this video right now and my battery works to shut off, I will have to charge it and then have to wait again. And of course you don't want the sun, sunlight to lower or whatever. You don't have to wait till something happens and you have to refilm it. So it's just better to be, get two um, batteries. Also, you want to make sure that you have your um, computer essentials. How are you going to edit it? You can edit on your phone. And how are you going to upload it and type of things like that. Yeah. You also want to learn your equipment. So once you get your camera or whatever camera that you're going to get, you want to actually go through the user manual. Or you can also look through um, different videos on YouTube and see if people are talking about that particular um, product. If they're not, to make your own video. And then that way, people will actually start to search for it. And then you can actually get found through that if they actually see your video about that certain product. Um, so it's really, really helpful to learn your equipment and learn how to use it. And just use it through experience. That's what I can mostly say. Um, so basically with my camera, I have been using it through experience for about a year now. So I really, really like that. And my video quality has raised, raised really high. And yeah, so that is the stuff that they do not want you to know about when you are starting your YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment down below. Let me know any video suggestions that you guys would like to see. Spring is now here, so I'm going to be doing a lot more spring tutorials, um, DIY projects. I'm also going to do makeup tutorials, and a lot of stuff is coming up. There's vlogs coming up and everything. I'm almost graduating from college, so yes, stay tuned for all of those vlogs. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe and hit that button. Talk to you guys later. Bye.